better way to get into the spirit of St. Patrick's Day than to have some good traditional Irish food, like a corned beef sandwich. Mmm. New London Whaler Cafe's Chef Tom is in the kitchen this morning, and this is, I love this recipe. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course. It's always so fun having you here, Chef Tom. So, uh, corned beef and pastrami are similar. How are they different? Okay, so the biggest difference between both of them, they go through the, the kind of brining process, same, but what happens with the corned beef, you put it in the water and you'll actually uh, simmer it until it's tender. It takes about three hours where the pastrami, I'll take it and I'll actually put like coriander and, and uh, black peppercorns on top and I'll hot smoke it until you reach 155. So pretty much just the ending is the difference. It's just one you cook it in water and the other one you kind of put it in the oven. Oven and smoke it. But it's salty and delicious oh. and both are yummy. Absolutely. So you could use pastrami for this. You, uh, Of course this is all about corned beef though because hello it's St. Patrick's Day Parade. St. Patrick's Day, absolutely. <laughs> so how do you start the sandwich? Okay so uh, right here I've got some uh, rye bread. I have some uh, corned beef which we made at the school. I have some cheese. You know usually it's Swiss cheese but I won't have already, so one thing I want Ooh. people to know, don't, don't get kind of crazy what you have, use. We have some butter, some Thousand Island dressing, we have some mustard, and we have some drained cabbage, uh, sauerkraut. You want to drain it because otherwise it'll, the wet will come into the sandwich and sog it out. So the sauerkraut, could you use the cabbage instead too, <laughs> if you had some leftover cabbage instead? You know, you can use anything you want. People <laughs> get stuck on, oh, I have to have this, I have to have that. You know, just make a sandwich, have a good time. And have fun with cooking. Yes, I agree. Um, now this is looking eerily to a Reuben. Is this similar? Is yes, this a Reuben? Okay, absolutely. similar. Okay. So I'm putting my mustard down and a little bit of butter in the pan. Now is that what kind of mustard? Is that like grape poupon uh, kind of thing? You can use grape poupon. You know, whatever you have, right. use. You don't need to go out and spend twenty dollars to make a five dollar sandwich. So <laughs> have have fun with it. Don't don't get kind of crazy on that. So I've got that down. I got my mustard down. You know, again, uh, you know, in the recipe it says put a couple ounces of this, whatever you have, whatever you like. And some people might want to have like 10 slices of pastrami on there, like <laughs> New York sandwiches. But you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, uh, put on there. To me, that's, that's pretty awesome right there. And actually, I'm putting this on in layers for a very specific reason. So when you eat it, it doesn't all shoot off the side of the sandwich. So, but isn't that what makes it uh, fun? Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Like if you're on the first date and pastrami comes flying off the side of your face, and it might not be such a fun, fun experience. Maybe but, you, you shouldn't know. be eating corned beef or pastrami yeah. on a first date. <laughs> Maybe. So sauerkraut's down. Or you should, you know. You yeah. learn something about the person right That's away. True. How they handle yeah. that stuff coming down their face. Yeah, that can be true. <laughs> so the Thousand Islands down, sauerkraut's down, and I'm going to put a slice of cheese on. And I'm going to put the top piece on. One thing that's really important to do when you're making a sandwich like this, you want to press this down. Make sure it gets, uh, like you should see on a sandwich here, it's got to have a nice golden brown crust. And another good tip for this is keep it on medium to medium low because what happens if you might crisp the bread up, but the pastrami is cold or the corned beef is cold and everything inside is cold, you don't want that to happen. Yeah, you want to make sure it's nice and warm. And you, and can you don't actually, want to burn the bread trying to get everything warm inside. Right, and you can actually, uh, sometimes in a restaurant, we'll take it, finish in the oven, make sure the whole thing gets nice and hot. So Ooh, I'm kinda, that's a good pro tip right there. Yeah, you know, so it, 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 the bottom line, have fun with cooking. Don't be so stuck on everything. Don't get too stubborn. Get it's not baking, it's cooking. It is cooking, so it's <laughs> a lot, lot more fun and you know, not so many rules, which is great for me. And you've got something new going on at the Whaler Cafe. Uh, we What's do? this here? So one of the things we're doing is we're introducing new products. So we're making a uh, dry pasta and it's not, like we don't have the full label on it because it still has to be approved. Uh, by the uh, Department of Community Protection, but pretty soon we'll be all labeled up and ready to go. And you'll probably find these again at ShopRite along with our focaccia. And, and how does this help the Whaler Cafe? Well, this is how we fund our program. We get no money from the school at all, so if we don't have this, so go out and buy our product, please. Uh, so it, it helps out. Uh, with everything. And remind everyone really quick of what your program is. You help students in the culinary arts, right? Yeah, you know, it's pretty much a uh, school to work program. So when they finish a the program, right now we work with local casinos, um, uh, different restaurants in town so they can come right out of the program and into work. And this is from the high school, right? It's from the high school. Yeah. Right, and so awesome. one quick thing, I have to give a shout out to my principal, Principal Thompson. He's been a huge supporter of the program. Uh, thank you so much for all your support because right now we're in budget time and it's kind of crazy at the school. Oh, so right. he gives a lot of support. I bet, I bet. But no, budget's not fun right now for not anybody. Not fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chef Tom. Well, thank you so much. I think we're going to have to dig into the sandwich a little bit later. For more information about the Whaler Cafe, about this delicious sandwich, just head to our website, WTNH.com. Click on the on-air tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section. You know.